Good day, my name is Peter Gordon, and I want to share with you my story as, as a migrant to Australia. We uh, been living, we were living, used to live in South Africa, South African citizens. And um, when my kids were young, we made the decision that as a family, we wanted to start a new adventure. We'd been to holiday in Australia. My sister lived in Australia, and Australia was a, a, a natural, we liked the country, it was a natural, natural option for us. Applied for a job, everything went really smoothly, and within three or four months, we were um, in Australia. We had made a decision that you know, we'd been actively involved in a church in South Africa, and so we'd made a decision that when we got to Australia, the first thing we wanted to do was get involved with the church here. Um, I'd made contact with the church um, that was linked to the church in South Africa before we even left South Africa, and when we got here, I got involved in the church straight away, and that was wonderful. You know, being making a decision to uh, just be involved in all activities, you know, help where we can, was great. It helped us settle into Australia, and very quickly, Australia felt like home for us. You know, for our kids, it was a positive. They made friends. Uh, we've made we've made long term friends. Friends that you know, even though some of them have moved on to different churches or are overseas in other countries, we we still keep in contact, and you know, it's great to have them. I think for us as a, uh, well, personally for me individually, but also for us as a family, um, the the challenge of being a migrant, you know, we felt, I felt strongly in, in recently during the COVID situation. And when COVID first, when the restrictions first kicked in, yeah, everything was normal, same as everybody else. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, but a short period into COVID, I got a phone call from my mom from South Africa to say that um, she'd be di diagnosed with terminal cancer. That stage diagnosis was um, you know, 12 to 18 months. And so early days of COVID, my thinking was that by September, everything will be back to relatively normal, be a lot of travel. And so, you know, me and my sister were planning in September to go and see my mom. But unfortunately, her health deteriorated very quickly. Um, and very soon afterwards got diagnosed with brain cancer and went from being you know, strong uh, to you know, being bedridden, you know, not being able to get around and, and very quickly hardly being able to communicate most of the time being, um, being you know, not you know, being asleep uh, and, um, and when she was awake being in pain and it was hard to communicate with my mom hearing her um, crying in pain hearing her, uh, you know, moaning and, and feeling so uncomfortable and being, you know, being stuck in, in Australia. It was hard. I tried to get over to South Africa, but it was just not possible with travel restrictions, um, not only getting to South Africa, but getting back to Australia, you know. You, and, and so it was a tough situation for us. Um, and But one of the strengths for us in that situation was knowing that even though we were alone from a family perspective or from an external family perspective, knowing that we had church family around us. Unfortunately, we had made a probably a poor decision or a wrong decision um, when we first joined Berry Church of Christ and you know, had excuses of busyness, didn't get involved in a life group. But fortunately, um, just before COVID started is that we got involved in a life group and just the support of the life group, the encouragement, the um, the prayers, the friendship, uh, you know, the messages, the phone calls um, from life group and, and greater church and, and friends, you know, Christian friends from outside of the church was wonderful. There were times, especially in this last lockdown, when, you know, you hear your mom crying and, and you can't do anything about it. It was really hard. Um, but knowing that I wasn't alone was, was wonderful. And I just want to say thanks. You know, thanks to the church. Thanks to the life group. I, I don't think the life group realized what encouragement they were. You know, the WhatsApp group, seeing their messages, seeing their communication. Even though sometimes it wasn't even connected to me, just seeing them communicate made me feel like I wasn't alone. And so, and, and helped me stay connected with God. You know, he's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the creator of everything. And, and it was great you know, to have their support. So my encouragement to migrants is make that decision to be involved. Make that decision to be involved in the church. 
make the decision to be involved in a life group. Yeah, it, it's, it's a blessing and it's a decision that you will not regret. So I want to thank you for uh, hearing my story. Happy to discuss, or if you have any questions at any time when we're allowed to connect up again and see each other face to face. Or, um, but thanks, all the best, and uh, God bless. Bye.